access the App Store or the Play Store and download this app called CapCut. It's one of my favorite and it's one of the easiest video editing softwares that you could use. And when you open CapCut, you only have two options. So it's not messy and it's easy to figure out. There's projects and there's shortcuts. So don't do shortcuts for now. We'll have another video altogether. Let's start with projects. You have a new project. You've recorded a video and now you want to edit it. So I'm going to click and select the video because it will go straight to your gallery and your albums where you've saved your videos. You click and you select and it would show there's a one that it has selected one. You can select multiple videos so that you can go edit them. You can also select photos to add to your videos if you want to. If you just want to edit the one video, then you will untick the others. As you can see in green, they go away. At the bottom of the screen, it tells you you must click on add to add it to your video editing area, the designer area. And then the, the video then shows on your landing page of your CapCut. And when you start pressing play, it starts playing like that. So I use my fingers, my big, big fingers, but you can buy OTG to help yourself with the editing. And there's a video on my channel that I'm going to create to show you where you can get OTG. And it is linked to your mouse and it makes things much easier when you're editing. When you land, it will show you the size of your video, meaning you can download it as a 1080p, 720p or 480p and the frame rate also shows there the arrow that's pointing upward that's where we're going to then download our video when we are done when you move to the middle of the page you then see the video that you've just recorded and it shows you the time of the video that you've added on your editing software it shows you the play button it shows you the back if you've made a mistake and you want to undo then you can click on undo or redo and then this shows you the full screen if you want to leave the full screen you just click on it back and then you leave the full screen when you move to the middle end the first button that you see there is if you want to mute audio that you've added on your video you can click and mute audio and then if you want to add audio you can click on the add audio and you can add audio at the bottom of the page it opens up a new menu so when you want to go back to the main page where you were editing you just click on the back arrow at the bottom of the page then you get to view if you want to add a cover on your video you can use a template or you can add your own text of the video that you're busy creating and you can upload your cover over there and you have a cover of what you've created now when you want to go back, you just click on X to go back. So that shows you the middle section and the plus button that you see there is if you forgot to edit a video and now you want to go grab it from your gallery and edit on here or a photo. If you missed it at the beginning when you were adding the content to edit, you can just do it right here. When you move to the bottom of the page, this is where the fun happens. This is the menu that we use to edit the video that we are, we are busy editing for our social media platform. So there's a cut, in other words, edit. The minute you click on edit, it highlights your video in white. And you're then able to either split, make it speed, adjust volume, animate, delete, and remove background how cool is that this app has a remove background as well that you could use when you scroll to the side there's style extract audio so you could extract audio and then replace audio if you want you could edit and crop your video and you could adjust your video by brightness contrast saturating saturation etc and you could mask you could enhance you could do an overlay in other words if you have another picture that you want to be on top of your video that's the overlay so you could have overlay on a video if you want there's a replace there's stabilize opacity make it light or brighter 
voice effects you could copy reverse freeze and then graphs so these are the menu options that are available when you are clicking on editing when you want to go back to the main menu you just click on the back arrow and then it goes back to the initial menu where you could manipulate audio or um, add audio record your own audio etc with the add text you click on add text on your menu at the bottom you click on the add text plus and then you start adding text on your video so you go add text and you click on the correct button and you can start playing it to see the text and then it shows you the time that the text is going to display on video and it also gives you the adjust but buttons with the text that you can set to the duration of the text on your video so if you want to make the text darker lighter have color then you need to have the text highlighted like we did now and then go to styles and you have different kinds of styles that you can select the default is the system styles if you're happy with the system styles then you just leave it like that when you want to add color to your text you click on styles and then it opens the different kinds of styles that are available when you want to have a canvas or a background on the text that you've added then you can click on canvas and then it starts creating a background of the text that you've created so let's make it a different color so you can see it like that and then you can move your text around and make it big and make it small and change color of the text using the text style over there and you can have shadow so you can play around with the text the way that you want and when you're happy you click on the correct question mark and you can play and see how it looks like and then that's how you add text so you could also have text to speech bubble and you could delete text add effects what i want to show you that's also something very useful especially in the beginning so there's there's a there's so much that you could do but the auto captioning is also very important so when you click on auto captioning you can ask the software to go grab the auto captions for you the original sound and when you click on continue it starts creating auto captions for you via the the recording of the video that you've had now it's told us that auto captioning have been created so let's just move our video around so you can see them do you see at the bottom of the page here are the auto captioning and then you can start clicking on them and editing them like we just did you go to style you put in a style effect and you change their color you make them bright the way that you want and when you click on the box there you can uh you can edit them that's the word i'm looking for you can edit them and then you can make them big and fix all of your auto captioning like that the nice thing is if you fix the first one the system automatically fixes all of your auto captionings to follow the style that you've chosen on the first one and there's there's so much more i'm just showing you the most important ones and the other important one i want to show you that was useful to me was the stickers with the stickers is if you want to draw attention to your to a section on your video for example you want to put in an arrow so then you're going to use a sticker and then you're going to click on the sticker once and then you click on the tick mark and it also has your editing to show how long the sticker should be there in other words set duration of the sticker and it also shows you where you can click and you move the sticker around on your video itself and when you play the video it will point wherever because you've chosen that sticker to be on your video to add an overlay on your video you're going to swipe until you find overlay 
and you could add a video overlay or a picture overlay then you click on add overlay and you go find the overlay of a picture that you want to add or a video this example has a video and there's your video you that then looks like this one that i'm gonna put up on here edit the overlay by clicking on the overlay and cutting and pasting or go back to the video and editing it like that so that's how you add an overlay if you want to split the video on the main menu you click on edit then it highlights in white then you click and you split the video so when you play the video like that and you've split it you could split it again maybe that little portion in there you don't want you just click on it and you delete it and then it splits like that when you want to add transition between the two splits that you've done then you would click on the split that you've um, created there's basic transition camera social media masks etc slide uh, then you would select the one that you like and you would choose you could apply to all or you could tick on just the one when you say apply to all wherever you've cut it on your video it would add and apply the transition that you've selected so when this you play it like that it moves a page through. like that so there's so much we could do with CapCut, and you could adjust the, the transition to the exact timing that you want and then you select the quest the correct you're done with your editing and you're ready to download it or share it on social media you're gonna go to this arrow on top and click on it and it exports and you wait for it to export it does not take long as easy as that and it's done it's going to be on your gallery. You can share it on WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, etc. And that is how you export your video. You click on done and it's done. So this is just the beginning. I just want you to have a view of this video editing software. That's amazing. We, let me know on the comments below what more you'd like to see on CapCut. I just wanted to share it with you because I'm using it a lot and I think it's the best smallest little thing you don't have to have a computer to be on social media you could do so much to grow your brand thank you so much for joining me today i will see you on the next video